Audacity is a great piece of software. Not only is it free and open source, it's available on all major platforms, and it's considered one of the best audio editors out there, with hundreds of YouTubers, music artists, and podcasters using it on a regular basis. And in this video, I'm going to share my top 5 tips and tricks that I've discovered you can use Audacity for. First off, we're going to look at the extremely useful noise removal feature. This is a real lifesaver, especially if you have a lower quality mic that generates hiss. How you should use this feature is fairly straightforward. Simply record what you want with a little bit of quiet ambient room noise on the beginning or end. Once you're done recording, select the section of quiet that you recorded and then select Effect Noise Removal. Once the dialog opens, select Get Noise Profile. Go ahead and press Ctrl A or Command A if you're using OS X. This will select the entire recording. Once everything is selected, go ahead and do the same thing, effect noise removal, but this time click OK instead of get noise profile. It should work fairly quickly and then should finish, giving you a much improved recording. Next, we're going to look at one of the most basic functions in Audacity, the Generate Silence plugin. With this plugin, you can just highlight the annoying breaths, uhs, ums, hmms, and random noises and turn them into silence. To use it, simply select the affected area, then click on Generate Silence, and then OK. The timing stays exactly the same, and you no longer have that noise ruining your recording. You can also just click on a spot along the waveform, and run the plugin again, manually setting the amount of silence you want to generate. The third feature we're going to look at is the Normalize plugin. When you're recording, you'll have varying levels of sound volume throughout the recording. Some parts are going to be much quieter, while others will be much louder. This can make for an unpleasant experience for someone who may be listening with headphones. This is something you'll do after you've recorded your audio and have done everything that you want to it. Run it right before you export the final clip. To do so, simply press Ctrl slash Command A, and then select Effect Normalize. I normally select Remove DC Offset, this makes sure the audio is properly balanced between both sides, and set the Normalize Maximum Amplitude option to negative 2.0 decibels. The fourth tip is actually a buy one get two free deal. The change pitch, change speed, and change tempo plugins are all very useful. So to do it, just highlight the area that you want to change the pitch on, and go Effect Change Pitch. This requires a lot of experimenting to get the right sound you want, so beyond what I've just said I can't really provide you with much more. As for the change speed and change tempo plugins, those also require you to experiment for yourself and figure out what you want best. Finally, last but definitely not least, is the ability to import edit an MP4 video file and extract the audio from it. Of course, there are free websites that can do this for you, but by using Audacity to do this, you have control over the export quality and can do all sorts of editing you want to it right away. It's fairly simple to do. All you have to do is install the FFmpeg import export library when you install Audacity, then find the .mp4 file you want to extract the audio from and open it. It will import the audio, and bam, you have a full quality audio recording from the video file, most likely better than what you would get from any of the websites out there, and possibly faster too. That's it for this video. I know there's way more that Audacity can do that I didn't cover, but this was just my quick top 5 tips and tricks. If you have any questions or tips and tricks of your own, please leave a comment down below. If you liked the video, please drop a like, and if you really enjoyed it, then hit that sub button and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching guys, this has been Avis Tech and I'll see you next time.